and an explosive development near the Persian Gulf. Word that Iraq has invaded neighboring state of Kuwait. Arab countries have been trying this month to defuse this building crisis. No more trade with Iraq, a boycott of Iraqi oil, a ban on... I've told the American people before that this will not be another deal. Right, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This week, hot takes, zombies, unpopular opinions, and we got our first guest. What? All right. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first guest, which is B Rad the Band. Say hello. What up, gang? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Uh, I actually put in my own hot take on this one, so, uh, I guess let's just wait and see what I said, and I'll give you my opinion there. We do have that one saved. We do have that one saved. Uh, so we'll get down to that later. We'll have you read that one off. But we'll start off with this one right here. This hot take is from Jake the No Life. He says, Vanguard's idea of upgradable perk in-game is a good idea. Vanguard, good idea. I never heard of that. <laughs> uh... And it is a better system than Cold War's out-of-game upgrades. Cold War's actual upgrade benefits, though, like stamina of giving no fall damage, was better. And I actually kind of agree. I like the idea of when you spawn in, you're kind of just kind of like a trash player. You don't really have a lot. And then as you play on, you get way more upgrades. Or you get way more things to actually do. So I actually kind of agree with them. It's funny that Vanguard came out with it. <laughs> and maybe they can implement it better than Vanguard, but I think that it's... It's actually a pretty good hot take. I'm not, I'm not hating. I, I kind of agree with this. Like, I didn't hate the Cold War perk system, how they did, like, the upgrades and stuff. It's not a bad idea, but the fact that, like, every time that you had to, uh, you, you pretty much had to, like, pay thousands and thousands of more points just to get, like, another tier, like, like the Jug perk or whatever. It was like, oh, yeah, you get an extra, like you get, like, an extra 50 health or whatever, but it's going to cost you, like, half your bank. It's like, that, that doesn't necessarily, like, fit my style. I don't hate the idea, I just, mm, I don't know. Black Ops 4 had the best perk system. I enjoyed picking a setup to suit my playstyle, and modifiers were a great idea to improve perks while not making them as OP as Cold War did. I wouldn't mind increasing the perk limit, but there has to be one. I, okay, I say this as, a, as someone that really enjoys Black Ops 4. I I don't hate this idea. <laughs> I really don't. I like the idea of like bringing in your own perks, but I can see where people get a little touchy about it. It's not a bad idea, but I understand that people like and make the perks like more even feel because it's what Black Ops 4 had. You pick the same like four to five perks like every single time. Now if you did like the same thing or whatever, where you can actually have like uh like pick your own perks or whatever as long as there's like something that likes like if you do like 13 again or whatever have like have some more balance to it because then some maybe people just do something more than like pick stamina up winner's whale dying wish and victorious tortoise all the time mm. i i have to somewhat agree but somewhat disagree i my one of my favorite things about bo4 was the modifier system i thought it was really cool i thought it was an awesome way of being your playstyle which thing you want to put where, what modifier is the best. And I thought the ability that the modifier gave, I liked it. I liked the mule kick ability. I liked the, the stone cold, strong cold one. I like a lot of the different abilities. So I thought the modifier system was great. There's kind of two hot takes of this. There's the perk <laughs> system with bringing it in. And then there's the perk limit thing. The perk system bringing it in, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of. I, I, I'd rather just pick a modifier in the menu and then they all spawn in the perks. I think yeah. that is fine. I don't like bringing in your own perks because sometimes you want to change it up. Like, you, you don't, you, you lose that freedom and I think Zombies is a very free game. And yeah. then with the perk limit, I loved no perk limits. I think perk limits are stupid. I think that it just take it, it takes away content being able to use because it's like, why would I go try these other perks if I have a limit and I gotta take, I, I gotta take Jug, gotta take Quick Revive on Solo if they have it. So now what? Am I just, I only get two options. I'm probably gonna take stamina up. And then I get one choice between what? Uh, double tap if it comes back, speed cola. So it's like, you're kind of removing content 
for having that limit and i don't know if i really fuck with that yeah i i don't mind like i don't mind the like there being like perk holic and you get like all the perks or whatever that's you know here or there or whatever and i don't mind the idea of like having a perk limit i just don't want it to be four i think five to six yeah. is like a good spot like if you can give us five to six perks i think that that would be like the ideal i don't I don't hate the idea of having all the perks, but I also think it's more intriguing to only have like five or six. But like I said, if they bring Perkaholic back or do whatever, then that's a whole. That's other what the thing. leaks say. <laughs> leaks say gobblegum. Leaks say a gobblegum system. That's what they say. Leaks had a lot of things. Mechanics with gobblegum system. I don't know. The leaks had a lot of things, but the. I was gonna say leaks also had like <laughs> let's say they they also had Zombie Chronicles two and Bo four so what do I know? They also had Mauder Toe and Eskino, so we'll see what happens with that one. <laughs> um, but thank you for the hot take. We'll read this next one here. This next one is by Michael. Cold War and Bo three are vastly overrated zombies experience. Michael, 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 Michael. Read. Hold up. Let's read the tweet. B Rod, read the tweet again. Read my tweet. All what right. did I say? Insane. Zombies. Perks. Oh, zombie zombie perks. perks. Okay. 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 No, no, it's not just me, right? No, 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 it's not just me. Hey, Michael. <laughs> Michael. That's great. I love the fact that you think that. Don't put that in other episodes where I talk about BO3 and Cold War. This is zombie perks. Thank you. Next one. Please. No, no. Because this shit happens every single episode. People don't know how to retweet. It's gonna be right. like that. Doctor Blur. All right. BO3 is overrated! Dr. Blur! What the hell? Dog! Dog! Brother! Get this, get this. I'm not even gonna finish your hot take. I'm not even gonna finish your hot take. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna finish I can't do this shit right now. Alright, next one. Next one is Ray Guns. Finally, is there actually a hot take I can read? Let's see. Let's see, uh, B-Rod. Yep. I actually uh, enjoy the Cold War perk system. Oh my. Let's just get some clappers for Ray Guns actually talking about perks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Love the grind to upgrade perks. Or I like the idea of having no perk limit. It's a fun shakeup. This is a pretty opposite to the other one we just had about yeah. how he liked it where it was a grind and then the no perk limit. So yeah. what do you, what do you, what kind of, I know you said you wanted five or six perks as the limit, yeah. but. In this newer game, right, if we do have sort of like a perkaholic, right, if we yep. do have these other gobblegums that they do add, because if they're going to add gobblegums, they're going to make it OP. Because yeah. if they don't, then there's no reason to add it, right? It's going to be like BO4 Lixers, where at first it was kind of like, you know, on launch, it was like, okay, you only had a couple really good ones. Yeah. So if they do add these new perks, right, especially if they keep PhD, if they keep a lot of the newer perks, the elemental pop. Do you think that it's possible that some of these perks that are just going to be overshadowed never do? You? you know what I mean? Is I that a possibility, kind of like we see in BO3 with Deadshot and Mule Kick? I can see that, but on the other hand, too, like those perks were always like I think they even they were getting overshadowed in uh, in Cold War. Like not not Deadshot. Deadshot drastically improved in Cold War. Um, well, but Mule like, Kick had the sa the salvage thing too. That was Mule a big Kick, feature for well, Mule no, Kick. No, was wasn't that death perception? Um, I thought Mule Kick had something to do with salvage. I, I know. Time I know. Look it up. <laughs> I thought death. <laughs> I thought death perception had like tier four was the salvage, uh, like salvage increase thing or something like that. Um, um I'm almost certain. So you hard. have <laughs> uh, you have craft equipment of grant. Um, enemies drop ammo, so like a bull trade. Yep. Oh, you slowly restock your weapon. Um, that's when it. You have it out. That's one. Yeah. Third that's primary it. weapon. So you keep your primary weapon if you down. Yep. And then you repurchase it. Twenty five percent chance to keep non retrievable equipment when used. Okay. So like yep. you know you if you can use a, a um like a wraith fire or whatever and keep it or keep one. Yep. Hold for. Okay. Yep. I don't. I don't. I thought it was a pretty good. I agree, though. It was overshadowed now that I has death perception to the salvage one. I can agree. Yeah. From uh, the uh, Lucario Project, we got perk limit needs to return in some fashion to bring back the deeper thought that goes into setting up and uh, setting up and the impact each perk purchase has. However, every map should have some sort of a way to earn all the perk slots through gameplay. It just shouldn't be a thing from round one. 
I Ooh. actually, I am actually uh, fully on board with this. Like I, yeah. let's say the the perk uh, limit I think is good, but yeah, having the way to get the extra perk slots, like the dig sites from Origins, oh, if they yeah, did something like perk. that, if they did something like that, then I am fully on board with that. It's kind of like the quest system that we were talking about earlier. I am fully on board with that. And it doesn't even need to be something extravagant. It doesn't need to be this crazy big Easter egg. It just could, it could be something super simple. Yep. It could be something very easy, just a very easy side quest that will each get you one slot. I think the dig sites are perfect. I think that's yep. a perfect example. What if on a future map, we had a sharpshooter-like step, and then each sharpshooter zone, you get a new perk slot, right? You, that yep. could be something. I think that there could be a lot of new ways to make that perk system, whether that is unquenchable or perk or whatever you want to do with that. Yep. And, and then you can have some in-game quests so that it doesn't feel pay to win. I think that's a great idea. I think that perk system, like, in terms of, if you want to add a limit, there's got to be a way to get more that yep. isn't money. Because I feel like if there's not, then it's just going to be, like, thrown to the curb completely. Ello gays. Today we have a list of top 5 bombo clat. Numero 5. Bombo clat fall. So if you're gonna add a limit and have this idea of a side quest, I agree. I think that's a great feature. I agree 100%. Um, good, dude, why are the hot takes good today? They're not <laughs> stupid. I've had some really dumbass hot takes besides besides the BO3's overrated and BO3's overrated hot take. Shout out to YouTube, <laughs> dumbasses. All right, next up, Joshua Shaw. Cold War Wonder Fist has to go. And I'm just gonna stand for this. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, the Cold War Wonder Fist has to go. Makes the perk machine obsolete, and yep. it's not. And just make the Wonder Fist the Wonder Fist. Have like the yep. mystery box. Old Wonder Fist is way better. Origins of Ancient Fist, that, that, that was good. Um, I get the idea of having it all in one spot, but especially in a map like Image, you literally have to never leave your little 10 feet box. Yep, makes, it I makes, agree. It makes maps that sh it makes parts of the map that should feel important not important. And especially on a map like Firebase, you can literally stay in the spawn the whole time. I mean, I, I agree. I think the Cold War Wonder Fist has to go. I don't think we got to talk about this too much. Josh Shock. I, I was going to uh, say, I, I agree 100%. Yeah, the perk machines were definitely uh, under, or just completely obsolete once they introduced uh, Wonder Fist. Yeah. I, if they made them back like they did in the old days, then yes, I'm on board, but... Yeah. I mean, I mean, even even uh, Bo4 did it better with Secret Sauce. That's all I'm gonna and, say. And, uh, yeah, I would agree with that. And I, another thing I'd like to say is I would even like an idea where you bring back that old Wonder Fizz, and then the fire sale um, power up affects it, where oh. the perks go from 1500 to maybe not 10, but bring it down to 500, right? Make it like a bonfire. Make it lower. Bonfire like perk sale. <laughs> It could be literally just the fire sale and in a new feature. I think that's great, especially because a lot of times wonder weapons are aren't in the box. So I, I think th that's I think we could see something like that. Yeah, I think we just made a new drop. <laughs> yeah, shout, dude, shout out to perk sale, bro. Um, perks perk set thirty sale. All right, oh, next yeah. next hot take is from this weird guy. Um, I don't fucking. Uh. I don't know, some I, some I'm, old some old fucker. Um. Yeah, some bald dude. <laughs> we got Ian Hawk with our next Tell hot day. Cool. <laughs> yeah, all right. News. News. Never lose. Since we have a lovely guest today, I thought, why don't we play a song in the background that fits more of his style, more of his age range. So, so this is uh, from some guy named Bira the Man. Uh, you can say five to five to six perk limit is fair. If perkaholic is, is a thing, that's fine. Death perception sucks, and most importantly, bring <laughs> <laughs> and most importantly, bring back double tap, you cowards. <laughs> dude, double tap, uh, dude. Where is double tap? Why is double tap the only perk that hasn't been reintroduced? I, what? I, I don't get it. I'm I'm looking up to the clouds. I'm looking to, uh, to the great Lord of yeah. Love, and I'm sitting I'm there going, up. "Where, where, where is my double tap? That's my favorite. Jesu. <laughs> it's my favorite uh, perk of all time. Why is it? Why have we not had this back since Revelations? Like seriously, it's. 
Is Elemental Pop the reason Double Tap is gone? If that's the case, get Elemental Pop the ass out of here, brother! Say, if Give that's me back the, Double Tap! If that's the uh, case, I will cry. Like, there's no reason for that. Actually, uh, let's say I'm gonna do a quick plug, not for my channel, but by the way, you should go check out my channel. Uh, check it out. Link let's say, but no, there was a uh, there was a video that Joltz did uh, mm. uh, of useless information. They actually did have Cold, uh, Cold War Double Tap there. They even had a perk Dude, to jingle for they, it. They had a, they had a machine too. I I made a video about that too. They had a perk machine. It's listed here. It's really cool. I thought the machine was redone really well. You even see it in some BO3 Zombie custom map that they used. Yep. So it's I, I don't understand it. There's even a can for it. I don't get it. Bring it back. <laughs> Pediatrician Forrest, Kevin Drew, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> next up, next hot take. It's just like. <laughs> I mean, I just, I don't have words. I just, we're just, we're not even gonna mention it, okay? <laughs> next one. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh. She's so big, you can't even see her full face! What do you mean? Dog! Bruh. You got JD McDognut, looks like you got a square head of Will and E, and you got this fucking beef bag. Oh, my soul. God damn it. You know, Two it more go. hot takes. I actually yeah, before you do that. It's funny. I I almost read JD McDonough as JD McDong. <laughs> <laughs> I I this is this happened another episode. This is not becoming a trend. Please stop. Please it stop it. No, no, no. No. Next up. Tyler says, uh -oh. Uh -oh. really had to really get the phlegm out of there. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Where's double tap? I don't even care if he makes guns too good. It's zombies. Need I say more? You don't need to say more. Honestly. Say, say Ty Tyler Moore or Tyler Nor, you are 100% correct. You, you've, you've, you've done wonders. I'm Give proud me a good of you. Blood clot, nah. You don't need to say anymore. Speak that truth. Next up. Speak that truth. Cowboys can't do so. Next up. Mr. Johnny Jr. Another thing about zombie perk limits. Is that all you guys care about? <laughs> That's all you guys care about is perk limits. Okay. <laughs> I want to see a no perk limit and zombies. Best thing ever added to zombies. The best thing ever. The best thing ever in the history of Call of Duty Zombies was no perk limits. Because you can get your dead shot. <laughs> okay, brother. Best thing ever added to zombies. Jug is honestly the only perk I think of being overrated. And what perks Ooh. need to return? Vulturade, Original Electricary, and Widow's Mark. I would love Vulturade. Love Vulturade. Vulturade is good perk. I just wish it wasn't on Barry. But <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! What Sorry, is, what that, is up with Vulturade that, on Barry? That 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 might be my own hot take. I think Barry's that the is, most overrated that is a, map. That, so <laughs> that is a that is a new hot take. All right, everybody, blame this guy in the comments. Like I swear, boo. No, I'm everybody, I like boo Barry, this I like man. <laughs> <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> you what? <laughs> um, so we got Vulturade, Original Electric Cherry. I mean, it's already kind of in the game, so it's like, yeah. okay. Uh, and Widow's Wine. It doesn't have to be Widow's Wine. It could be Winter's Whale. I think they both just, you know, kind of said the same thing. I agree. If but you're yeah. going to have an armor system, I don't think it's a good idea to have it in the game. That's why I would much rather have the shield and then this. I think that's better. Yep. But... The armor system kind of fucking kills it. I'm not gonna lie. Armor, kills armor it. system is arguably okay. This is gonna be a hot take, not for perks, but Everyone just stand, in general. Stand it up. Stand it up. Let's say, hey our, guys, he's 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 not doing the video just like the rest of y'all. Everyone and we all that didn't give a hot take about perks. This is for you. See what he says. The armor system was one of the worst things that the Call of Duty Zombies has ever added, nonstop. <laughs> which 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 one? Which one? The just the armor system Ar in general. Two, all it's, them? It's 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 a dumb system. I hate it. I absolutely despise it. It let's say especially in Cold War, like it, you right. took away right. our shield, you took away our shield, and now we have to rely on this, a system that can still kill you if you take hits. Whereas the shield, oh yeah, t it takes the damage, it takes the hits. You don't have to worry about it. Armor system still damages you, dead. Like why? This give me a shield. I want my shield back. <laughs> I. I, 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 I agree. I don't get it. Like, 
Oh my gosh, we have this fun new innovating feature called the shield, where every single map it's different. You got the dragon shield, the rocket shield, the nine shield, the, the ancient evil shield, the blood shield, even though we can talk about that one. The older Another shield. Another day. Oh, we have, we have all those different shields. Wow, what a unique feature. Let's replace it for a blue bar in the bottom right of your screen. Yep. Oh, and let's take out Widow's Vine and Witcher's Whale, two of the most beloved parts <laughs> of each of their game. Okay, no, good idea, Treyarch. Yeah, very Jason Blundell. All right. Yep. Although we love you, Jason. All right, last <laughs> last hot take. Last one. b Rad, we're going to have you read it because you're the guest. You're the guest, so we're going to have you read it. This is from a good friend of both of ours. Good friend of oh. both of ours. Oh, expert Let's fusion. He, he, always has, he always has good takes. Perk in... Perk upgrades should be in game, not like Vanguard. And Cold War's permanent perk upgrades ruin a big part of in game progression and overall made perks way too OP, OP way too soon on each game. And I I kind of agree with this. Like I said, I, I like the idea of the perk upgrades. I don't want to be like Vanguard. I 100% agree with that. <laughs> Let's say, if, any, if you put Vanguard and good in the same tenses, bro, that's a hot take in itself. I'll just say, any, put that in a different video. If you, if you put... <laughs> If you put Vanguard in anywhere, like, hey, this was a good, no, just stop, News, <laughs> newspaper, newspaper bonk on head, no. <laughs> it comes, it comes other people be like, well, Shino Numa Reborn wasn't that bad. All no. right, buddy. All no. right, buddy. Go play, but, go hop that ass back on the Vanguard then. Go look at Twitch. They got 40 <laughs> viewers total for the game. I'm oh, surprised God. they even have that many. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's thank B-Rat for coming out. Um, round of applause. Woo! Uh, I did hope you guys enjoyed. This is a way longer episode because we have another... We don't have just be screaming out of nowhere. <laughs> we just have be rad. We have actual thought in this one. What? We have actual people thinking, so... I do appreciate it. Thank you all for leaving all your hot takes. By the time this video goes out, my Twitter will be in the description, and the next hot take um, tweet will be up. So if you want to be in the next one, subscribe, go down to the Twitter, Give me your hot take. B-Red, anything you got to say before we get out of here? Uh, be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel, B-Red the Man, and also check out my uh, socials. Uh, most of them are on Twitter, at B-Red the Man 67. Truly appreciate if you guys would give me a follow. Yeah, for sure. Go give him a follow. This guy has the Blood of the Dead World record. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, someday. So someday. So someday. Someday. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. You guys the absolute best. And I will see you all! Very, very soon. Good shit. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.